there is no adventure out there that won't be exciting with Bennett thanks to his powerful burst attack and excellent support abilities. The only question remains, how will you build the most unluckiest adventurer? Even though Bennett doesn't require much planning when it comes to attacking your enemies, there's a couple of very useful things you can take advantage of when using him. The first one would be his fantastic voyage burst, which gives everyone inside the field pyro status that is considered to be one of the most crucial survival tactics inside places like the final floor of the spiral abyss, where you're constantly getting hit by the cryo debuff. However, what's arguably more interesting about his burst is the interaction he has with his second passive skill. When Bennett is inside the fantastic voyage field, his elemental skill cooldown is reduced by 50% and he no longer gets a knockback from the final level of his elemental skill. This is actually a great way to become the so-called battery for your team, since Bennett's elemental skill only has 4 second cooldown when he does the single tap activation, which then goes down all the way to only 2 seconds when he's inside the burst. And the slash attack from his elemental skill generates on average 3 pyro particles, which is pretty insane, especially if your team has multiple pyro characters which absorb the energy more efficiently. Of course, let's not forget that the biggest reason why Bennett is so popular among players is the fact that he provides attack bonus bonus from his own base attack for anyone who stands inside a fantastic voyage field. Just make sure you understand this means you're not going to increase your team's attack from Bennett's artifacts and the only thing that matters is his base attack when you level him up and the weapon he has equipped. So you can pretty much put on a decently leveled sword and he becomes a viable team member. Basically, Bennett's burst attack is very flexible which lets you shrug off those annoying cryo debuffs and when you're in a need of energy you can quickly repeat his elemental slash attack for fast energy gains. Finally, the last thing that's helpful to know is that a shield prevents Bennett from getting knocked back by his elemental skill and since we've been getting plenty of characters that provide shields you can utilize this trick if you want to use Bennett's fully charged elemental skill. All in all, Bennett truly shines as a support character when you take advantage of everything that his burst has to offer. When it comes to building a good Bennett, there are a couple of very strong choices you could go for. First of all, if you're just starting out, then probably the best weapon for a Benny boy would be Skyrider Sword that will serve you well until level 60, which then should be upgraded to a higher rarity weapon. Now if your next upgrade is lacking any good 4 star weapons from the wishing system, then crafting prototype Rancor is your best bet since it has pretty high base attack and gives a better boost for your team. However, what Bennett really likes is energy recharge and probably the most suitable weapon for him is the Favonius Sword which also generates even more energy for him from the passive skill. More energy means more bursts, which results in more reliable damage boosts for the whole team. Another great option is the Sacrificial Sword, since it has the same substat and the chance to reset his cooldown means he can do two quick slashes in succession to generate twice the amount of elemental particles. Finally, if you manage to obtain Festering Desire during the limited event, it's also a very suitable weapon for him because of energy recharge, although the substat provides less than the other two swords and the passive skill is more of a nice little bonus. Of course, if you get your hands on any of the 5 star swords and you're not using them on your other characters, then it's going to be an excellent piece of equipment for Bennett because of the large base attack these 5 star swords provide. Also, if you want to get best up to date recommendations for your characters, make sure to follow us on Twitter, link in the description. Moving over to artifacts, probably the easiest recommendation would be the full set of Noblesse Oblige. And that's because it works extremely well together with his elemental burst, since now you can dip into the additional 20% increased attack paired together with Bennett's provided attack bonus. The other two recommendations would be to go for a double 2 set bonus of Exiles and Scholars for more energy recharge and team wide energy gain, or you could also use Instructor's 4 set bonus if you want more elemental mastery for your reaction damage. However, one interesting thing about Bennett is that he also heals anyone who's inside the burst field, so you could go for a 2 set bonus of Maiden's Beloved along with either Exiles or Scholars. And this brings us to his stat priority. Now the best thing to focus on would be energy recharge along with health. This basically accomplishes two goals. You activate your bursts more often and the heals you provide for your team are more superior since healing scales directly with Bennett's maximum health. If you want him to be absolutely dedicated to keeping the team alive and providing bursts as often as possible, go for energy recharge on your sands, health on goblet and healing bonus or elemental mastery on circlet. Just keep in mind this will essentially make Bennett's own damage non-existent, so if you would prefer him to deal more damage, then use a mix of attack and elemental damage bonus artifacts. Speaking of damage, it's worth mentioning that Bennett also works as a fully dedicated damage support teammate, but he requires a bit of a different build. For the weapons, Iron Sting from the Blacksmith is a superb choice, while the Black Sword or the Black Cliff Sword and the Lion Sword all provide great substats and passive skills. As for the artifacts, the full set of Crimson Witch works best with him. Finally, when you're looking to invest your highly precious weekly boss materials, prioritize maxing out his Fantastic Voyage as your first talent, unless you're really focused on making him as your damage support, which then should be his elemental skill as your biggest 
biggest priority. In short, Bennett loves energy recharge, so anything you can get your hands on that increases it will be met with much love from this adventurer, and the best artifact sets for him are those that capitalize on his burst. Probably the most awesome thing about Bennett is how much of a flexible team member he is. He can adjust to pretty much any team composition thanks to his burst, since the aim of the game is to deal a lot of damage, and currently all endgame content favors time trials above everything else. And when it comes to team members, if you're using Diluc, Klee or Xinyan as your main damage dealer, Bennett is going to be an essential team member thanks to him producing pyro elemental particles, which will be absorbed more efficiently, while the attack bonus is going to be a strong enabler for any damage you're about to unleash. Of course, of course, it's hard to ignore the fact that Bennett is also widely used in team compositions that capitalize on either melt or vaporize elemental reactions, since they take into account every stat for bigger damage output. Looking at his constellations, there's no better upgrade for him than his first constellation, which makes him go from good to extremely great, since there's no longer a need to abide the health restriction to receive the attack bonus from the burst. It's highly recommended to obtain this constellation if you want to maximize his potential. However, something that could backfire on you would be his last constellation which transforms melee attacks into pyro, and this overrides things like Chongyun's cryo from his elemental skill, so make sure you're very careful if you decide to activate this constellation. And with the introduction of Dragon Spine, Bennett is definitely top tier expedition buddy because of his affiliation to pyro, so lighting those sources to warm up your team is going to do wonders, not to mention all those snow piles that you will be melting for the greater good. It's hard not to love Bennett's cheerful approach to adventuring, even if sometimes things explode in your face. And yet, it's clear that the biggest selling point of Bennett is his elemental burst, which provides way too much value for someone who's only a 4-star character. The combination of increased damage and healing is something that many support characters wish to have, and having all of this packed into a single ability comes as a powerful addition to the team. It's also amazing how easy and cheap it is to invest into a viable build for him, since all he needs is pretty much energy recharge and some health to make his burst activate more often and provide stronger heals for the team. However, this doesn't mean he's entirely without fault, and the biggest suspect is the fact that his handicap for getting attack boost gets removed at first constellation, which seems almost unfair how much he changes in terms of consistency. You no longer need to depend on some silly requirement to give the team the attack boost they need, and without this constellation, he definitely feels more situational. It's also important to keep in mind that his healing only works until the character reaches 70% of their health, which means you can never fully heal your team which is understandable since this is the exact threshold that's needed to keep the attack boost active at constellation 0, even though it becomes pointless after Unlucky's first constellation. Still, Bennett is definitely one of the strongest support characters in the game, and he also comes from the pyro element, which as of making this video is highly favored by the player base. Making use of him without too much investment, capitalizing on his very strong burst attack, and providing reaction with pyro is definitely something that's not easy to come by, so if you're in the need of a powerful team member, look no further as your answer lies in this video. After all, it's about time Benny's adventure team needs to have more casualties. Enjoyed the video? Make sure to subscribe to us by hitting the bell notification on and gently pressing the like button. You can also get more useful Genshin Impact news and guides by following us on Twitter. Thank you for watching us.